Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. This is a quick rundown of brand new Blender add-ons that you probably missed. And this week, we do have a good number of add-ons that are currently available. And owing to the fact that the Blender Market sale is still ongoing, a lot of developers still took the time out to update most of their add-ons and some of them did create some pretty good ones. And with that said, let's get right into it. VK Game Dev have created 600 plus Blender Sculpting brushes. This is a compilation of all of the sculpting brushes that they've created previously. And this includes the ornament brush, the skin brush, the torn brushes, the sculpting brush, the wood sculpting brush, the fabric brushes, and so on and so forth. These brushes are super easy to use and depending the kind of sculpt you're going for, there is definitely a brush for you. For those who like to get this right now, this is still on sale which simply makes it super interesting for you to save 25% off on getting every single thing. And if you go over to their storefront, you can take a look at all of these individual brushes that are also currently on sale and if you like to purchase just one of them, instead of getting the entire bundle, then you can proceed to do that. But in my opinion, I think getting the entire bundle might be much more safer and save you more than purchasing this individually. And if you're into faster creation of rigs and animation, then Poopa Animate Pro is the tool that you've been looking for. This tool simplifies the process of creating rigs, applying custom animation, retargeting animation, and getting your character fully ready for animation. This also comes with a thousand plus animation that you can load onto your characters and get them working. The animations can be automatically transferred from one rig to another, and it's quite impressive to see that the transfer slash retargeting is compatible with Rigify, Auto Rig, Human Generation, and your own custom rigs. And all of these rigs that we've just mentioned are also available on Blender Market, so just in case you'd like to see them, you can go ahead and take a look at those. The retargeting feature also comes with a very user-friendly app that simply allows you to store certain presets and get things going. And with the Poopa Animate Pro, you can also have access to animation layers, filters, and so much more. So if you're into animation and you're thinking about that simple to use tool that you can use to rig, apply motions to your model, retarget the motions, and get your character come alive really quick, then this add-on is definitely one that you should consider taking a look at. And a few places you spend a lot of time as an animator is keyframes and graph, and that is why Blastframe is putting together the Ultimate Animators Bundle. This is the second iteration of the Ultimate Animators Bundle, and this ships with all the scripts and tools that Blastframe has put together. So the Ultimate Animators Bundle ships with the timing and ease, the graph kit, the key and select object, keys, and delete static channels. Now instead of spending so much on getting these as individual product, is worth mentioning that with the Ultimate Animators Bundle, you can get all of these at once. So the version 1.1 actually makes it even way better as certain bug fixes that comes across all of these individual tools have now been put together and is sold as a bundle. And so if you're an animator and you're looking for an add-on that you can use within your graph editor or work with your keyframes, then this might just be it. Power Node is a Blender add-on that is specifically designed for the node editors that exist in Blender. This makes it super easy for you to work with material, geometry nodes, and any node editor that exists in Blender. This comes with a couple of features, which includes you double-clicking to preview whatever materials that you're working on, toggling across different nodes for variation, all the way to switching from one pot to another, and a couple of hot keys. Blender Sensei has also created a couple of other add-ons prior to this, and for those who are thinking about checking this out, you may want to consider looking at the snap keys, the power lattice, the power reference, the power select, and finally, the power node. All of these are here to expedite your use of Blender and help you work faster. Bagapai version 7 is here. Bagapai is a free to use Blender add-on that comes with a couple of modifiers and features that really allows you to work alongside the geometry node to create some fantastic and breathtaking visuals. The version 7 now ships with even way more features from parametric to scattering tools, random array, management and optimization tools, and much more. Now we've covered a couple of these before, and for those who like to get this, you can simply come over to this page where you can get this for free, or if you want to get the truckload of assets that now comes with this, you can now get this for 25% off. The cool thing about all of this right now is with the new improvements to Bagapai, working with these, scattering things, and also managing your assets directly in Bagapai is as easy as possible. With more and more updates coming to this, Bagapai 7 now includes even way more assets than before. Currently, the new asset pack now ships with 340 environment assets, which are fully integrated into Bagapai, and this can also be used independently as well. So if you're looking for a tool that comes with both a scattering, a parametric set of tools for architecture, some array building tools, management and optimization tools, or maybe you're just looking for that cool tool that you can use to draw boolean, create IVs, and display certain things, then Bagapai 7 is the add-on that you've been looking for. 
Riverhill has just announced an update to his beautiful plants and pots. The version 2 now ships with more assets than before as you can now get over 20 assets right now. This is coming for a small price of $2. So if you're looking for a set of assets that you can load into your asset browser and use them to decorate your interiors or probably add them to your architectural visualization shots, then the plants in pots library version 2 looks pretty nice. If you're looking for interior scenes that you can use both empty and fully decorated scenes, then you can consider looking at the 37 architectural visualization interior ready to use scenes that is available from Blendianos. Having access to these 37 scenes is super nice and for the most part, if you go over to this page, you also notice that it has a couple of things. If you're looking for furniture that you can use or maybe you're looking for sofas, you can actually take a look at this bundle that is currently on sale. So instead of getting this for like 5 and 5, you can take a look at this bundle that is on sale and save yourself that buck and get Get these 74 models. All of these models are high quality models that you can pick up and start working with and having access to these 74 with this particular price tag seems like a steal. So if you're into interior scenes or maybe you're into furnishing then you would definitely find this one worth it. And finally for this week we are looking at Village Gen. Village Gen is a pretty brand new add-on which you can find right now on Gumroad. I'm gonna put a link in the description that will bring you here and the cool thing about this add-on is it allows you to create villages super easy. This comes with three different products which deals with the village generator, the single building generator and also the castle generator. And all you need to do to create villages or simply create all of this with the geometry node is as simple as swiping and creating some curves and automatically these villages are created. This also supports intersection, textures, and a well-detailed quality set of models. So if this is also something that might come in very handy for that beautiful landscape that you want to create, or maybe if you've been thinking about create a village or a set of scapes like this, then you might want to see these ones for yourself. So this is more like it. For those who would like to take a look at all of this that I've mentioned, link to this is going to be in the description. So do well to check it out. And of course, if you'd like to catch up with the sales that's going on right now on Blender Market, sales are running off and you might want to grab the add-ons that you've always wanted and save up on that buck. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.